So the next error to look out for is one we've discussed before. It is isolated polygon copper or copper islands. And this error is basically a very common one. And what happens is small regions of copper that are part of your polygon pore, they're actually isolated from the rest of the polygon due to the way you have routed tracks in your solution. You've basically routed yourself into a circle and the copper is isolated from the rest of the connection, meaning that it has no connection to the other ones and there's a chance that it's not a valid ground copper plane. It's very easy to identify by changing the layer visibility in your design. Uh, so all you want to look for is the top copper and the bottom copper to see if any shapes are completely separated from the other ones basically island shapes. Uh, another way to identify or deal with this is to select your polygons and choose an option that is specific to Altium, which allows you to remove any copper that has isolated itself. But the ultimate way to fix this is uh, to route more efficiently and effectively and um, use spacing to your advantage. Um, so let's take a look at an example that has some copper islands and how we might choose to deal with them. So here's uh, a completed board from CC2511, uh, assignment one in JCU. And if you look closely, we're gonna see there are three copper islands in this board. So let's zoom right in. And here's the first copper island at the top plane. One way to highlight this is, is to turn off the visibility for all layers other than our top layer. To change layer visibility, select this small red rectangle at the bottom of your layer selection menu uh, down here. So I'm gonna double click this. The first thing I wanna do is turn all the layers off. So if you look uh, down the bottom, we have a couple of text that we can select. There's all layers on, all layers off, use layers on, and so on and so forth. I just wanna turn all the layers off for now. Uh, and all I wanna do now is make sure that the top layer is the only visible layer. So I find the top layer, which is at the top left selection menu here, select click and then apply and okay. So now if I was to zoom out, the only thing I can see in my board is the top polygon and tracks, which allows me to easily identify any islands. So let's have a look. Now an island is a part of the copper plane that isn't connected to a pin or the rest of the copper plane. So as you can see, this small strange shape uh, red object is isolated from all of the other components, meaning that it cannot be grounded or it cannot be connected to any of the other positions. So if I was to look at an example uh, in the middle here, these are the pads for our resistors. So they're obviously connected to pins or pads, meaning that they have a valid signal connection. Uh, similarly, we have tracks which look like they may be isolated, but no, they're connecting from one pad to another so they have a valid signal. Conversely, this object here is not connected to anything, meaning that it cannot be grounded. And if you needed that small connection to be connected to a ground for a component, uh, it's gonna cause major errors in your board. Uh, so the other copper islands uh, you'll find are up here, uh, and they're particularly taking place because of the way we're tracking and placing our components. We're not giving it enough space uh, to have that copper island connect to the rest of the copper plane. So another thing you can do in Altium that I briefly talked about is you can select the polygon and we'll do that by double clicking anywhere in the polygon pore. Now we have the polygon pore properties and there's one option you can do, choose to do which is to remove any dead copper. So it basically gets rid of that copper from the design and after changing our polygon, we'll need to re-pour the polygon pour so that we can see it update. So as you can see, with that option selected, it just removes your dead copper so that you're not mistaken about having a ground plane that isn't actually connected to anything. So the useful thing via removing dead copper is that if you were using that copper island as a ground connection, uh, it would then generate an error because you would have your component violating uh, it's finding its ground connection. So removing dead copper is again a very nice step to allow Altium to do some error checking for you. And I advise you when you're pouring your polygons or using your polygons, double click them and change uh, that setting, remove dead copper. Notice also that I didn't do this for the bottom layer. So you'd want to double click the layer selection menu uh, and also turn on the bottom layer and turn off the top layer and do the same process for your bottom layer. 
So that was one way to remove or deal with the copper islands in your board. Uh, another way is by uh, rounding more efficiently and using vias strategically. So let's have a look at this small example here. So as you can see, by routing a very small space between uh, these two pins, we've given the copper no room to breathe, no room to connect to the rest of it. So what I might want to do is just delete this track and make this track a little bit larger so that we can place a via in that island and have it connect through the board to the bottom layer copper. So now I need to place a track. So I go to place, interactive routing tool. Uh, I want to make sure I'm the top layer. So the top layer is selected, it is. And then go from this connection and I'm gonna do just a right angle uh, join here. So I'll go to roughly uh, right in the middle there. And we'll come back and just make sure that we have a little bit extra room to move here. So after making a change to your board, it's violated polygon pour. So we'll need to re-pour that polygon. Polygon pours, re-pour violating polygons. And now we have a little bit more space for this copper island. Um, so I haven't removed the island yet, but I've opened up the opportunity to place a via through the board that will connect this island to the bottom copper. So now I want to place a via. I go to place, I'm looking for via, just below pad. Now before I place this via, I need to set its properties. I do that by pressing tab. And the properties I'm specifically looking for, I can set the hole size and the diameter, but I'll just leave them as default for now. Now I wanna make sure that this via is a ground via. Its signal connection is a ground connection. And it will be ground because it's connecting the top ground polygon to the bottom ground polygon. Now all I have to do is place it in this island which was otherwise not connected to ground. And what will happen is that via will make a connection from the top polygon island through to the bottom polygon copper. To make sure that we're placing it in the correct position, you'll want to view the bottom layer. So I can change the view just by pressing bottom layer in the bottom screen. And as you can see, that part of the bottom layer copper is open for me to connect to. So what I want to do now is re-pour these polygons so that it takes uh, the changes that I've made. So go to tools, polygon pours, and re-pour all. So as you can see there, it actually connects this island to the ground via through four prongs or tracks automatically for us. And the same is done on the bottom layer. So there we have taken our otherwise unconnected copper island and we've connected it to ground, making sure. Let's have a look at our remaining two um, copper islands. Now, this one's a little bit more difficult to deal with. I won't be able to fit vias in between these tracks, but what I can do is probably space out the vias used for LED one, two, and three signals so that the copper islands don't exist. They can actually stretch through the board. So to do this, I might have to first delete these tracks that are connecting to the vias. I can report the polygon now to remove all of this green error display. But before I do that, let's actually finish off this track. Interactive routing tool. So I'll need to place the top layer tracks first. So I select the top layer. Then I want to grab the interactive routing tool via the place drop down menu. And I want to go from LED one up to LED two. And as you can see, those islands now are connected to the rest of the copper. The ground connection is valid. And how I did that was just spacing out my pin connections and doing it a little bit more efficiently so that we didn't have any misconnections. So now if I was to look at this board, I don't see any uh, copper islands. So we had three ways to deal with them. Uh, you can remove dead copper via a selection in the polygons. You can use vias to connect uh, a polygon island on the top layer through to the bottom layer, or you can just route and place vias a little bit more efficiently so that there is space for the ground to fill in the blank areas. So let's move on to our next error.